Hello everyone, so I hope you watched yesterday's video, if you didn't please go and check it out. But I said that because I've neglected YouTube for a while, I have decided to do a video every single day this week on my top five actors, actresses and the five roles that they've played that I love. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about Gina Davis. Now she is such an underrated actress, she really is. A lot of people I say, I love Gina Davis and they go, who? And then you show them a film role and they go, oh yeah, yeah, she's great. She's just so underrated and I love her to bits. So I do have my top five. Again, in no particular order, this top five. They're just my five favourite film roles of hers. So we will start off with... Shake, 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 Sonora. It's, of course, Beetlejuice, as she plays Barbara in Beetlejuice. I'm a huge Beetlejuice fan. You know me, I love my Tim Burton. In the previous video, I mentioned uh, two Tim Burton films, I believe. Yeah, I, I love Tim Burton. So I had to include Beetlejuice, and oh, I just love Gina Davis in it. Um, And I love everyone else in it, Renona Ryder, you know. But Gina Davis in particular, she's one of my favourite characters, so I love it. The next one is possibly one of my top 10 films of all time, which is very difficult because I do love my movies and TV shows, and it is her playing Thelma in Thelma and Louise. What an incredible film. If you guys haven't seen Thelma and Louise, please do it. I highly recommend it. It's such a brilliant, brilliant film. I just, I can't say enough about that film. I love it. Next up, we have another one of my favourite films. It's not really my favourite film, it's actually one of my mother's favourite films, but I was brought up on it, so it kind of gets ingrained into you, doesn't it? And it's her playing Dottie in A League of Their Own. So my mum's a huge Madonna fan, and Madonna is in A League of Their Own. It's a film about baseball, um, and it is a really, really good film. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's one of my top ten of all time, but I love Gina Davis in it, and like I say when a parent or someone close introduces something to you at a very young age, it sticks, doesn't it? And that's one of those. Uh, and I do love the song. We are the members of the All-American team. Yeah, I won't. <laughs> Coming in at number four is my all-time favourite um, Gina Davis role. Now, this film panned. It is panned by critics. People hate it. Well, guess what? I bloody love it, so it's on the list. And it is Cutthroat Island, and she's playing Morgan Adams. Now, I've always been a huge pirate fan, a huge, huge pirate fan. I was into pirates before I was into anything else. You know, I got into vampires later on in life, but I've always, always, always been into pirates from a very, very young age. Love the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, things like that. Um, I love reading about real vampires, uh, vampires, real pirates, historical pirates, all that. And uh, she plays a pirate in Cutthroat Island. And it was the first, ex my first experience seeing a female pirate. I have a PlayStation game that I've spoke about here before called Pirates the Legend of Black Cat, which has a female protagonist as a pirate. And that video game and Gina Davis in Cutthroat Island were the first times I'd ever experienced a female pirate. So for me, that was amazing because I wanted to be a pirate when I was younger. I mean, not so much now with uh, what goes on, obviously, but I, that's what I wanted to be. I wanted to be on a ship and sail the seas and maybe not pillage and plunder, but you know... <laughs> You know, I was young and Cutthroat Island to me, maybe just for nostalgic reasons, is one of my favourite films ever because, like I said, she was, Morgan Adams was one of the first, not only female pirates, but one of the first strong, influential female characters I'd ever seen. You know, she, she was independent, she was strong, she was sassy and that was my introduction to, to growing up really and seeing that I could be someone like that. So that's why that's on that list, anyway. And the final uh, Gina Davis role that I've put here is Samantha Kane in The Long Kiss Goodnight. That also is a phenomenal film. Samuel L. Jackson in it is the most hilarious thing ever. Oh, he's so funny, isn't he? And oh, I implore you, if you take anything from this week's videos, you must watch Thelma and Louise. You must watch The Long Kiss Goodnight uh, because they are phenomenal, phenomenal films. If you like Samuel L. Jackson, you will love this film. It's just great, 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 great. But I don't want to say too much more because I don't want to spoil it. So that's my top five favourite Gina Davis roles. I hope you've enjoyed. Let me know in the comments box below what your favourite Gina Davis role is, if you have one. Coming up tomorrow will be Sir Ronan. So Mel, you'll love that one because uh, I know she's one of your favourite actresses as well. So stay tuned for that and I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye.